The Greater Memphis Chamber recently was bragging about 700 new jobs being added to the local economy in just one month's time. It said the number of people employed in our area was at an all-time high. But what does that mean for the average family in the city? Are these new jobs, for example, the kind people can support a family on? Our Rebecca Butcher is digging deeper tonight. Well, Richard, as you know, we promised we'd get more data on what it takes for a family to thrive here in Memphis. A University of Memphis professor says the city should be focusing on building within, looking past traditional logistics roles. Let me just start by saying that $15 an hour is so 2015. We really should be looking at 20 to 25 dollars an hour now. A family of four needs about 75 thousand dollars a year, says U of M social work professor Elena De La Vega. She researches economic development and how poverty plays a major factor. 15 dollars an hour, that would be 30 thousand. So that brings us out of poverty. Barely. MIT reports the living wage in Memphis is just under 15 bucks an hour. At a child, a little over $28 an hour. And with three kids, about $46. Dr. De La Vega says though jobs are basic. We expect people to take really hard jobs and then uh, and, and to, to work for essentially slavery wages. High wages should be the focus. We don't really want jobs. What we want is living wages, decent wages, middle class wages. What we want is the opportunity for people to come and join the middle class and participate in society. And Dr. De La Vega also says poverty wages also touch education and then what all city leaders are trying to slow down right now, of course, crime. Richard?